Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading and some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgos, let's get into this reading. If you want to get a personal reading for me, there is a link in the description box below. Please do note, if you go to my website and you don't see the next date showing up, like the number, uh, for some reason it's not showing up, you're still able to click on it and you can book way in advance. Um, just give it a click and it will bring you the day that you want to book your reading, okay? The available day. Also, you can book with Brandy. All right, all right, enough, enough. Let's start and see what's going on here. with the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the month of June? Messages for Virgo for the month of June. Okay, so you're starting with sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Okay, so somebody's got their sunglasses on and they are watching you. Hand of cards, somebody's taking a chance risk being strategic options not showing their hand and or gambling and you also had a couple other cards pop out here as well you've got clock need time take time time to heal progress you've got twin flames heartbroken and palm tree okay um someone feeling sad in regards to a break breakup sad about a separation, palm tree, um, stability, security, permanence, growth, flexibility. Okay. So if we're going to like straight up, your twin flame is really heartbroken about some kind of separation. It's taking time to heal. Um, and, uh, hoping for growth, I feel. Um, but I also feel like a twin flame is watching you and, um, wants to take a risk to come forward or to have some kind of thingamajig with you. Okay, Virgo, very interesting. Um, so whoever your twin flame is, you either know them or maybe you haven't met them yet. Like your true, your true twin flame. Please forgive me if this the audio doesn't sound so great. I'm trying to fix it. I don't know what's going on, but I did get my lights back. So yeah, um, hopefully it sounds better as you're listening to this reading, but yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I need a. I need some tech help. <laughs> okay, romance angels messages here. Okay, so let's see. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, retreat and loving yourself first. So Virgo, it looks like you're disconnecting, and um, you're doing this whole. You know what? I'm just gonna love myself, and that's it. And I'm just gonna do me, and just be happy with myself. Disconnecting from the world disconnecting and spending time with other people, friends, family, maybe dating, things like that. Um, yeah, so I do kind of feel like you're just focusing on yourself in June. And you know, I did say that yesterday, Virgo, in the reading yesterday it was kind of all about your self indulgence. Okay, but I do feel like um, in a little bit in a little bit of time, you, you know, they're, they're slow going with this tick tock the clock stops somebody is going to connect with you and i do feel like they're kind of like going to go out on a limb here and i feel like they're kind of watching you you know to like looking at you or watching you and it feels like it's a twin flame okay who um you know it, they're heartbroken so if they're heartbroken um or you know there's some kind of separation between you two and this is somebody that you knew before that you call your twin flame that things kind of, I don't know, like some separation happened. Um, there is this, someone's getting back up on their feet and getting st stable. And that's what I hear, getting stable. Okay, so let's take a look and see. What is the energy here? Who is this twin flame? What are the other messages that Virgo needs to know for June? Okay. Hold on a minute. That was such a lame shuffle. Like, what the heck is wrong with me? Such a lame shuffle. Give me a second. There we go. A little bit better. Okay. What's going on with this twin flame? Twin flame. Virgo's twin flame. Virgo's twin flame. 
Okay. Yeah, Svergo's Twin Flame right now is... Gosh, my ear is starting to ring. Virgo's twin flame is um, in self, uh, is introverting. Introverting, is that a word? Um, they're in hermit mode. Um, this your, your twin flame, Virgo, is like on some kind of quest right now for some kind of truth about something that has ended, okay? A death card. We do have um, Virgo and Scorpio here, so you could have a connection. Um, with another Virgo or with a Scorpio, okay? So there is definitely some reflection um, either about something that ended or a reflection about putting an end to something and having a new start or a new beginning, okay? Because there's transformative energy happening here with the death card, big changes ending, um, time to move on, move forward or rebirth something and have transformation, you know? And it's all about kind of like, it's a healing energy and it's like I feel this person your twin flame is kind of like not really they're alone you know I, I don't necessarily feel like this person is lonely but I feel like they are alone right now trying to think their thoughts you know and contemplate some things and try to get some um, uh, illumination or guidance within let me see what else is going on here Cards don't want to come today. Cards have a headache. Not today, honey. I have a headache. Let me see. <laughs> and this is not going to be a super long reading, you guys, just so you know. Okay, yeah. So I do feel like this person, your twin flame, does want to have a new beginning with you, for sure, with the Ace of Cups. And I did kind of feel that, but um, they are in this... There's no communication with the hermit. They're not speaking at this time. They're definitely going through some kind of healing thing, maybe healing a heartbreak or something like that. And I, I just keep hearing in due time um, or when I feel ready or when I'm... There's something about timing here with that clock card. Um, they are watching you and they are thinking about, you know taking a gamble here but I feel like they are contemplating and, and there's no communication right now okay um, yet okay uh, there could be in June we'll see how it goes but I do feel like this person is um, not reaching out they're not saying anything they're, they're thinking they're pondering they're thinking about something okay they're thinking about something and it feels like putting the past in the past and having a new beginning with the ace of cups Okay, a new relationship, maybe a new baby, proposal, marriage, something along those lines. Okay, it's a very healing energy with the Ace of Cups. You know, after after death, um, there's rebirth, and that's what the Ace of Cups is. So even a new baby can represent a new beginning. Okay, so what else is going on here? There's a couple more messages for Virgo's twin flame. Oh, look who showed up, y'all the king of swords hello king of swords okay some of you your twin flame is an air sign libra gemini aquarius okay sun moon rising or venus but uh yeah coming in to have a conversation coming in to talk okay and be completely honest with you um what are they gonna say oh what's this okay page of pentacles yep i've been thinking about things and uh, I, I want to try to have a new start here and take this adventure with you, okay? Uh, I, I feel hopeful again. I feel like um, we can sort things out. Um, and it's it's like um, the King of Swords comes forward with this very, like, it's not emotional. It's not like lovey-dovey. It's, it's not, oh, I love you so much. Oh, I miss you so much. Oh, I think about you all the time. It's more like being practical and logical and having that conversation about how to how the workings of a partnership um could happen okay and you know what their ideas are okay the fool card here is also representing this person taking a chance again 
okay? Take, or just taking a chance, period. And having this new adventurous beginning with you, right? And here's the Two of Cups as well. So, yeah, I feel like this person, um, I don't know what happened with you and them, okay? They could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if I didn't say that. Um, I don't know what happened, but there is this brand new start to come together and have a conversation and talk and meet halfway and have a new love start here, okay? Now, I know some of you are like, that's not my twin flame, my twin flame like that's not my twin flame okay this then is not for you okay um i don't want to look i don't uh, i will say this okay if this is not your twin flame let me just put this let me just put this in a little different perspective for those of you who are not going back to the past and you are trying to connect with someone who um or you're hoping to connect with someone new this can be an energy for a small amount of you where your twin flame whom you haven't met your real twin flame went through a very difficult breakup with someone in the past and has been taking time to heal they maybe they lost their person due to uh, maybe their person's deceased or they're a widower whatever the case may be um you may come across this person in June where there you meet, you know, and you find out, oh, this is my twin flame. Oh my gosh. And it mostly shows up here as the King of Swords. So an air sign, okay, um, where this person is taking time to heal and then they kind of see you somehow or some way. Um, maybe they see you in the grocery store or, you know, and then they keep going back to the grocery store to see if they can catch catch you again or you know they meet you at the coffee shop or they see you there or you know maybe they see you online you know they're kind of like hmm who's this handsome fella who's this pretty woman you know um maybe I should take a chance and kind of reach out and you know say hello you know so for some of you that there is an energy of where you had a false twin flame in the past and now you're going to meet your actual twin flame and for others you did have a twin flame in the past who wasn't false and there was some kind of separation or breakup or something along those lines that things didn't work out and there needed to be this reset okay so i'm just going to leave that there because i know some of you are going to be in the chat just being like no i don't want that person no keep him away you're always bringing up the king of swords no i'm trying to move on okay well fine there's your message but let's take a look at you virgo and see what's going on with you because you're definitely like i said yesterday you're definitely in this i'm doing me and you know girl power guy power i'm just loving myself and taking care of myself and and i'm dating myself i'm going out and i'm buying myself flowers and i'm buying that new ring and i'm getting that new car and i'm, I'm getting my ass to the gym and i'm taking care of, you know i'm working really hard and i'm starting a new business and i'm putting money in the bank you know and i'm i'm having a few beers with the guys you know i'm doing all this stuff for me you know i'm reconnecting with my friends again and i'm retreating from dating and relationships and doing all this jazz you know and you're all about you so let's see what else what else virgo what else about you and also, you know what, if this, all right, so I'm going to just ask real quick, how does Virgo feel about this um, twin flame, not false twin flame? How does Virgo feel about the true t twin flame? Okay. Oh, yeah, well, you got the hots, hot to trot, Virgo. You you got the hots for your, your true twin flame. Um, <laughs> sexy time. Hey, sexy lady. You, yeah, hey, sexy guy, <laughs> you got the hots for, you know, you, you definitely get this passion, fire, knight of wands energy, you're like, <laughs> free me, come and take me away, <laughs> yeah, you definitely do, okay, it's lusty energy, you know, come on, don't deny it, you know who I'm talking to, yeah, I'm talking to you, I'm calling you out, okay, all right, some of you definite. <laughs> All right, two things like you might have um, you're hiding it. That's it. No, you're hiding it. That's you showing up in your own portion right here with the King of Pentacles. You're hiding it. You're like, no, I'm not. I'm just focusing on my money. I don't have a thing for them. No, I don't. I'm not even looking. I'm not even paying attention to them. No, 
No, we broke up. That person, they did what they did. And I'm not looking at them anymore. Oh, shush. You know, like, come on. How do you just not have the hots for someone all of a sudden? The person that you did before. The person that you were like <sniffs> drooling for. Okay, fine. Maybe you're not in love with them. I don't care. We're not talking about that. I'm just asking, like, how do you feel like your feelings? And the first thing that's coming up is this, this drive and this passion and this fire about this person. Okay. And you could turn your back to it. Some of you are just diving into work. You know, you know, you're like, you know what? Like, I can't think about this. And I'm just going to like, look at my coin. I'm going to just, I'm just going to look at, do my tasks to distract myself from the passion and the lusty feelings I have for this person. <laughs> you do what you got to do. Okay. If you don't like what I'm saying, click off the video. If I'm calling you out and it's too much for you to deal with, well, you're on the wrong channel because you know, I'm not trying to do that. Like I'm not trying to, you don't have to like raise your hand and say, it's me. If, if you feel called out, just kind of shrink back and don't say anything. Okay. So, you know, I do feel like though also I feel like this person, I don't know, there, there's something here about their money. I feel like you look at this person as kind of solid and practical, resourceful, you know, um, maybe fertile and a little domesticated in some way. You know, um, maybe they are, they invest in money or they do some type of investments here. All right. So Virgo, but you, you also might like feel like this person was a player too, or that they just, you know, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is a really bad dude. The Knight of Wands in the reverse is someone who is really um, chaotic, would be someone who's like sexually, has sexual excess, or they're just impulsive. Um, but the Knight of Wands in the upright is someone who's just free spirited and creative, and they do have that lusty energy towards um, the person that they're with, but they don't, they're one of those people that kind of comes into port. And then they're, they're like exciting and passionate and then they dip out. Um, but then they come back to port again and, you know, want to connect with you. So some of you kind of feel like maybe this person um, only comes in for, you know, the, the, the sexual pleasure, that kind of thing. And then they leave again for work. Maybe um, I'm not saying whether you I'm not seeing whether you see that that is good or bad. I'm just kind of picking out that you that is just how you feel like maybe they just because the knight of wands doesn't usually stay the knight of wands is like a cowboy i'm a cowboy on a steel horse i ride and i'm wanted dead or alive so that's the energy of that person <laughs> they're just kind of like uh, i just feel like you view them that way like they come in you know and then they go back to work like i don't know they come in for business and they're real focused on their coin. And then, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm talking about a, a male here and I'm talking to the females or those of you maybe who just like the males. But yeah, so it's a little like <laughs> I'm not going I'm not going further with that storyline. I'm just going to keep going. OK, I'm just going to keep going because I feel like you kind of look at this person where, you know, they come in and then they, you know, have their little hoo-ha with you and then they're out because they go back to work or, or something. Not somebody who may really want a relationship. Okay. Um, or didn't, right? Maybe that's just how you view this person. Okay. Um, hmm, it's very interesting. Now you've got um, temperance. That's so crazy because with the King of Cups, I also kind of feel like you look at this person as if they are... Um, emotional and kind and supportive and empathetic tolerant um, and very stable um, financially you know and um, hmm I know somebody comes in with an energy of um, an earth sign but also water so there might be earth and water in their chart you know they could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn they could also be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces Right. And, and this also can be um, you um, view them as marriage material here. You also view them as a long term partner, like, you know, retire, somebody you could retire with or someone that you can um, uh, because 
they come across as a little stoic, but they're very they sh- they show very kind. I don't know, Virgo. It kind of feels like you're trying to balance out the two, you know. There's so there's a little bit like even with temperance there. Yeah, I kind of feel like you look at this person as like having two different energies, two different sides to them. Maybe they are um, maybe they are a Gemini where they have two different sides to them. Okay, whatever it is, you've got three kings here, but this is in the position of how you view this person. So sometimes you see that they're very work focused and then they come in and they want to have that little um, physical pleasure. And then um, you see them as also being um, very tolerant and supportive and loving and someone that you could you spend the rest of your life with. So except for this Knight of Wands energy, it's like I kind of feel like this person... Um, you view them as just in and out, you know? So what a struggle, Virgo, um, to have like these two conflicting stories going on in your mind here. Yeah. Um, and I feel like your perception, I can pick up these cards. I swear I'm going to get new nails coming up soon where they're thinner. Um, your perception is maybe a little bit off with this person or you can't seem to reconcile within yourself who they're showing up as a little bit of confusion whatever sign they are virgo you know um maybe you're watching them and maybe you feel like there's gaslighting going on or maybe you feel like they show up as one and then they're they act a different way yeah a lot of um stuff <laughs> virgo perhaps from if you know this being a past kind of connection that things are just like what the hell is going on <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dying. Like, what the hell is going on? Maybe they're Sagittarius. Oh, Virgo, 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 Virgo. I tell you every time, what do you get yourselves into in your relationships? Like, who are these people that you are dating where you get so confused? You know, part of part of your confusion is because you're always trying to think things through. And you're and then you come to like one level and you're like a video game person, like you like a gamer. As soon as you get to this level, you gotta get to the next level. And then you gotta get to the next level. And like then you forget where you started and you you, you kind of go down this rabbit hole of overthinking. I mean, I really feel like with temperance here and you're trying, Virgo, you're trying. And I feel like with temperance you're just trying to like come into balance here and bring things into harmony, right? I think that's just a matter of, of you kind of saying, you know, this person is all of these things instead of just saying, okay, well, they're this more than that. Just, you know, acceptance. Just be like, you know, they're all of it. This is who they are. Okay. My ding dings or my dinglings are going off here. So some of you might also, well, you know, I'm not going to change your reading because I was asking how you feel about this person, uh, this twin flame. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that's that. That right there is that, okay? This, this person, this twin flame, whether there's somebody new coming in and then just forget all this part right here at the bottom, or if it's someone from your, your twin flame from your past that wasn't a karmic who, you know, you guys, whatever reason, there was some kind of separation. I do feel like they are slow it, slowing it down. What is that sound? Oh, my headphone. Okay, wait. Okay, so I do feel like they are kind of like thinking things through, right? They're in Virgo. They're in her. They're in Virgo mode. Whoever your twin flame is, they're kind of like in the place where you are, but they're doing it on their own. They're sorting things out on their own. About um, they need time. That's all I just hear. They just need a little time, and I feel like they're gonna reach out, and uh, you'll hear from them at some point, okay, um, here in the month of June. Yes, yes, Virgo, here in the month of June. Um, I will tell you this, generally the pages don't have a time frame. So when you ask, well, when are they coming in? Or when will I, when will I have communication? Generally, the pages don't have a time frame. I am feeling some June energy, but I will say that the one thing I can guarantee is that this person communicating with you is going to happen when you least expect it. And even before you might even be ready to hear from them. Okay. So I don't know what your timeline for readiness is. That's going to be, you know, up to you. But for some of you, this will be a June communication. 
to talk about things and take a leap of faith. Okay, let's see what your messages of love are. Okay, oh, see, strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. Okay. So that might have had something to do with some kind of break of some sort, you know? You guys, like I was saying in the beginning over here with this Knight of Wands, this might have been like, I don't know, either you saw it that way or that's what it was. Okay, um, hold on. Hold your horses. What else? They're strong. It doesn't have to be actual sexual relation relations happening and I've said that word I don't know how many times my my readings probably going to get banned to some degree um, but there's a lot of passion I'm telling you the passion and if there was so much passion with this relationship it didn't endure because that seemed to take precedence 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 that seemed to take precedence maybe your person is like a CEO or a president of a company or maybe they're the president of the I don't know country okay so there's also longing so i will say here someone is secretly secretly longing for you and i do feel like it is this person okay whoever they are um watching you stalking or just looking at you they're like mm, licking their lips like uh, i don't know a lion in front of a piece of meat like a shark rolling their eyes backward after taking a bite yeah okay oh and then I just saw past life love. So there you go, Virgo. And I don't care if you don't want to hear about the past. It's not for all of you. Like I said in the beginning, remember the beginnings, go back to the beginning. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Okay? So keep that in mind. Let me see. And I'm mostly like, I hate to call out some of the people in the chat, but some of y'all, like... Y'all go back and forth sometimes. I, I have to be, like, I love you all so much. But some of you all are like, I'm not talking to that person anymore. But then you're like, ooh, but I'm listening. <laughs> well, you know what? You do what you got to do. You do what you got to do, Virgo. I'm not telling you what to do. Remember that. I'll, I'll throw out some advice, but I'm not going to tell you what, how to live your life. And who to choose, who you should choose to be with. That's all on you, Virgo. I don't want the responsibility. Honestly, that's way too much work for me. I always tell people when you book a reading with me, don't, ex don't ask me to tell you what to do because I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. I don't know. I just, I don't want to. I'll, I'll throw out some options and I'll tell you what is coming or what I think might be going on. But at the end of the day, when you hang up the phone with me, you're on your own. You got to make your decisions. Okay. So there's some kind of rejection here, which is divine protection. So if there was rejection in this relationship in either direction, this was actually meant to happen for a reason because there needed to be, and I'm just going to use this term, a great reset in this twin flame relationship. This needed to happen. Uh, a great reset to kind of take a step back for both parties to retreat and start loving themselves again and say, you know, Hmm. Maybe maybe I need to just step back and just kind of let things play out and just kind of let the energy flow and and accept that whatever is meant for me will be divinely guided for me and what isn't will just be gone from my life, you know? And I feel like there's an energy here of two people kind of like, hmm, looking at that, you know? Just kind of like, hmm. But there is obsession, longing. I do, listen, Virgo, I have to tell you, there is a very strong, and I'm going to say the word again, because I'm probably banned at this point, very strong, passionate sexual attraction. Like, it's, I don't even know. Some of you signed up on that por prawn hub thing. I mean, some of you are just like, you can't, like, you're not going to bed until the deed is done all by yourself thinking about somebody or looking at somebody's pictures or whatever you need to do for yourself. You know, I, I don't even know. I just feel like this energy for go with this person is like, <coughs> let me just clear my, I need some, do I have any, anybody got sage? I need some sage over here. Virgo's having a meltdown. Uh, thinking about this person. I need like, do I have a fan? Okay. I need to get this energy out of me. Y'all, not even kidding. Okay. 
you know, here I am up in New Jersey, and I say y'all, because I've been listening to country music a lot lately. I don't know what's going on with me. Um, but I find myself... I find myself saying y'all more and more. All right, let's see where your Moon Pie Tarot messages are. Let us see. What else does Virgo need to know? Anything else? Up, up, uh, all right. <laughs> so Virgo, some of you, I know, this card keeps showing up. I feel like a lot of you are in training for something. You're learning something new. Okay? This is the Three of Pentacles. This can be about partnership. Okay, this can also be about teamwork, collaboration, could be about marriage. Some of you know, might be kind of like, you know, do I want marriage or do I just want companionship? You know, looking at the long term and kind of like learning about yourselves as well and somebody else as well. Like there's some new skills uh, uh, when it comes to like how to be a team, how to be in a partnership, how to collaborate. Co how do you say that? Collaborate. Am I saying that right? corroborate collaborate i don't know <clears throat> there's definitely something new that's being learned here in this relationship between two people um and this new learned skill is going to be um applied if there's a new start here whether you, well there is a new start but if you accept a new start with someone it's going to be a little bit different Okay. All right. Some of you getting a girls' night out. I just need to say that in June. <laughs> For the ladies, you're getting a girls' night out, or you need to go on a girls' night out. Okay. Some of you, ladies, either either planning something to get together with your girlfriends or whoever whoever you call your female soul tribe to get together with those people and just get out night on the town or do whatever in the month of June. I don't know if you're hitting the beach, you're hitting the city, you're hitting the mountains, you're hitting the lakes. Um, some of you are just in the desert. I don't know. You're going exploring. Maybe you're going to another country. Uh, whatever you're doing, maybe you're explore, exploring just around town, whatever it is. Um, I feel like that, you know, that, I mean, I know a lot of you do that all the time, but this is something like with a whole bunch of them. You know, or it's just some, some of you going to one of them. I don't even know if they have them anymore. Those, um, <laughs> I don't know, Magic Mike shows, I guess. What are they called? I don't even know. Some of you going to Vegas. Do they have the guys? Do they have the guys there at Vegas? Or is it just all the girls? I've never been to Vegas. I wouldn't mind going to one of those guy shows and just watching them shake their booties. Just the guys. I don't want to see the girls do it. Just the guys. Hey. Maybe we should plan that. <laughs> Some y'all. All y'all. Let's plan that. Okay, let's see. You also have stand your ground, Virgo. So, hmm. Okay. Something here that you're going to need to stand up for yourself in June as well. And I don't know if this is related to anything that we've talked about already, but this feels like a, a, a spirit is giving you this message that, hey, that thing that you're currently dealing with or not dealing with right now, they're saying you need to stand your ground on this particular issue, Virgo. And you know what this particular issue is. I do not, but you know, you need to stand up and defend either yourself or whatever else is behind you at this time. Okay. especially in June stand your ground do not be afraid do not be afraid no matter how small you feel your voice still matters don't let anybody cancel you don't let anybody tell you not to speak or not to stand up for your beliefs okay okay and you also have that's nice you have um the hanged man. Um, Virgo, you might feel stuck about something, but it's all in your head. You know, you, so kind of try to change your perspective about a situation. Uh, try to see the, the silver linings in something, a more positive view of something here, because a slight change will make a predicament easier. Okay? So... Uh, you're basically being asked to look at something objectively, not subjectively. And I don't know exactly what that is, but you're being asked to be objective about a situation here, which means, don't go down any rabbit holes, 
see something for what it is, um, the entirety of something, not just the bits and parts and pieces, the objective overall view of something. I feel like once you get an objective view about something, the overall view, um, the the predicament about that situation that you're trying to figure out, that you keep going down the rabbit hole about, will actually keep you from going down into the rabbit hole because <laughs> I just kind of feel like you're you, you zoom in too much on one thing um, I feel like you need to zoom out and see the whole picture see the bigger picture is what they're saying see the bigger picture that's the different perspective you need to have all right I'm actually going to be done with those and we're going to get into yeah your your Chinese signs I don't know why I can't say them okay Oh, well, maybe this reading won't be so short. It does feel like it's going slow, though. Is it me? All right, let's see. Tiny signs of you, <clears throat> your twin flame. Um, or just one of you or none of you. Okay, tiger, horse. Oh, stuff's just flipping out here. Rooster. If you don't know what your Chinese sign, Google it. Just look up the year of your birth and then look up... Um, your your person's year of birth and see if there's a compatibility or not and if there isn't how to how to um overcome your obstacles and if there is well hooray for you okay so we have tiger horse rooster okay and you have a monkey okay you have a dog you have an ox. Oh. You have a pig. And just know, you, if you're both the same zodiac, Chinese zodiac, then that would represent, like, say, if you're both an ox, or if you're both dogs, or if you're both pigs. Um, that's okay, too. Okay? And one last one for Virgo's... Chinese Zodiac match. Come on now. Give it to me. I hope my audio sounds good, y'all. Y'all. Okay. Wait, we've got a horse again. So I'm going to do one more because that's a double horse. All right. There it is. Snake. Okay. Okay. So just remember, as I said, some of you will be connecting with a new, because the Ace of Cups is there, a new person who turns out to be your twin flown, twin flown away um, and came back again. Twin flame. I should say soul flame. I like that so much better. Okay. Um, because the twin flame energy here, and let me just say, is the yin to your yang. This, your zen, the balance, the union, the duality, the coupling, the complementing of each other. If you are in a karmic twin flame, that is not a twin flame. That's just one toxic a-hole that the two of <laughs> a-hole relationship. Stop turning things into what they aren't, okay? See things, that objective view. If you were in a relationship with a very obsessive, toxic bad abusive relationship that is not your twin flame that is not your twin flame do not that is you being codependent if you're saying that's your twin flame because you love them to death no you need to be confrontational with people like that to the point where you have to stand your ground and say to yourself that ain't my twin flame uh-uh no you don't need to be confrontational with the other person you need to do that with yourself and say, no, 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 I had that all wrong. If you want to get my Twin Flame ebook, the link is below. It's also in the chat. So you can understand the difference between the two. My ebook is, a, is called 11 Signs You've Met Your Twin Flame. And at the bottom, at the end, there's also who is not your Twin Flame. Okay? So I would encourage you to purchase that. Okay? It's on my website, moonpidero.com. All right, Virgo, we're going to get into your names and other randoms and hopefully it won't be a political reading but if it is you know i'm gonna just say what i need to say because that's that okay hmm 
I see somebody wearing a pendant. Um, a round, a round pendant right now. Oh, I didn't record this in 4K. I'm a horrible, horrible person. Um, somebody's 34 years old. Um, and I'm also picking up the name Ursula. Just like that. Just like that. Out of the blue. Ursula. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I just heard Chloe. Hello, Chloe. How are you, Chloe? Let me see here. Um, oh, boy. Um... I see a graduation party as well. Yes. Somebody's going to graduation party. Um, if you haven't already been one, there's going to be one in the month of June. It could be Friday. Uh, or is it Friday? June 3rd? Oh, that's Saturday. Maybe it's, it's over the, maybe it's over the weekend. Somebody's going to graduation party over the weekend. Um, June 3rd and 4th. Uh, Saturday or Sunday. Some type of a event. Okay, over this weekend. Oh, some of you might meet somebody also. You might meet your twin flame over this weekend at an event or some type of party or something you go to. Just saying. I'm also seeing like um, stained glass. <clears throat> Beautiful. Very colorful. Uh, stained glass. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, hi. Oh, look at all these beautiful roses. Working in a garden over the weekend as well. Some of you might be. Okay. Um, someone is 47. Or uh, will be. Okay. Or was. Um, okay. And then is there a, a vehicle called a GX? GX. Um, I don't know. The letters. They're giving me GX. So that's significant for someone. G and the letter X. Um Er, okay. Yeah, I just see like working in the garden over the weekend or doing something in a garden for sure. Planting some seeds maybe or pruning or um, being somewhere where there's, a, where there's a, a lot of flowers and plants over this weekend. Oh, okay. A couple of kids also I'm picking up in like a climbing trees see some kids climbing some trees playing in some trees or branches do kids even do that anymore i guess they do um my kids used to we had a um we had a um a, a wheel a tire swing hanging from our front front yard i had three boys so they were always out there spinning and swinging on the tire swing maybe you have a tire swing or you see some kids with a tire swing okay um also i see someone at like um uh like a oh, okay they're giving me like um a tropical place like a resort and i see people in like shallow water or in the water like a pool or something and there's like a tiki bar or there's some kind of um alcohol bar kind of thing drinking like with a sun hat on and being in a bathing suit or something and just you know standing on the ledge or on the edge in the water having drinks looks like a lot of fun um okay so maybe you're planning a trip somewhere or you are going to be doing that or you're maybe you're currently doing that you're somewhere in this world listening to house of virgo which i want to say thank you very much listening to this reading i mean if you're listening to me while you're on vacation holla you are a fan, and I am very happy that you would even take the time to listen to my silliness on your vacation. But hey, if that's you, I'm a fan of you. That's how that works. Okay, let me see. What else? Just a couple more. Okay. Hmm. I just heard the name Kate. Or uh, it's a Kate. Catherine, Kathleen, Katrina, Katerina. There's a K-A-T. Kit Kat. <laughs> okay. And um, I heard Jerome. We got a J and a K. I'm giving you that. We've got a J and a K. Um, and I also heard Mick Knight. I don't know what that means. Okay. And um, again, with this collie. Somebody's got a collie or a border collie. 
And that is, oh, all right, that is so weird. Um, I'm seeing toasted marshmallows. Oh, oh, my gosh. I love toasted marshmallows. Oh, my gosh, I love toasted marshmallows. When I was a kid, I used to take the, the t marshmallows we had, and I would put them on a fork, and I'd turn the gas stove on and just kind of, like in the winter, toast them right over there, over the fire. <laughs> I was just like, I can find a way to make this work, even when it's snowing. <laughs> yes, toasted marshmallows. Um, okay, somebody's having some toasted marshmallows. Somebody's birthday is September 8th. They just gave me September 8th. All right, one more. One more, one more. Okay. And some of y'all are betting on the horses. Point blank period. Somebody's betting on horses or bets on horse races or horse racing or what is it called? I don't know what it's called. Derby? Betting on a horse. Betting on horses. Okay. Let's get into your chart or into your um these things. Okay. <laughs> Who do we have showing up? Scorpio. Aquarius. Libra and leo okay 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 i once had somebody tell me stop saying k it's really annoying and i think they were from another country well we say k here in america okay okay one zero four nine four and you could switch that around however you like um they're giving me also three nine one zero they're also giving me september 1st and September 12th. Okay. All right. September 6th. And um, I'm getting 3821. And I'm also getting, getting 8502. And you can switch those around all you like. Um, I'm also picking up September 20th, and did I say September 12th? Because it's here again. Yes, okay. Let's try one more, and then I'll do your charms. All right. August 24th, August 25th, the 23rd, and the 28th, and uh, the 30th. Whoa, I don't think we ever say August 30th, but yeah, I'm getting August 30th. Okay, um, they're giving me also the numbers 1058. Somebody is 41. Someone is 22. Someone is 58. And uh, someone is 50. Okay, very significant. Now, just one more shuffle of the signs. One more roll the dice. And we've got Pisces, Aries, Leo, and Taurus. Just show Virgo one more set and on to the charms. Scorpio came in spinning like a wrecking ball. We have Sagittarius, Gemini. Oh, and Scorpio's here again. Okay. So, a couple of charms, and then I'm going to let y'all go, because I know you got stuff to do. Like, maybe sleep. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Aw. Alrighty, you guys. This is it. You ready for this? This is just confirming, to some degree what I was saying rolling of the dice didn't I just say rolling of the dice there you go got a little dice here okay there's a gambling there's a little bit of gambling happening over this weekend if someone's taking a risk taking a gamble with you or someone's betting on the horses this weekend or doing some betting on something um, placing some bets there's definitely in June going to be a gamble hand of cards and a risk taken here, just like I said. And this is the Ace of Clubs. If you don't know, the Ace of Clubs in Tarot is the Ace of Wands, 
which is a inspiration and a and an urge a, you know what i mean <laughs> a very strong passionate urge but yes there's a risk there's a gamble being taken i don't know maybe it could be as simple as some of you have dice hanging from your windshield or maybe you're in a gang i hope not but whatever's going on yeah there's there's definitely a, a rolling of the dice over this weekend maybe you're going gambling maybe you're gonna hit the slots or you know play i don't know roulette or i don't know do you play roulette with dice no you don't um or just do some type of gambling over this weekend, okay? You might even work in that industry. Maybe you work in that industry. Or maybe you get, some of you might get a job. You might find out in June you're going to get a job. It's like, you know, working in the, the gaming industry, you know, betting and gaming and all that stuff as well. Or you have a connection with someone that does, okay? The other thing, Virgo, you also have this beautiful five-pointed starfish, Okay, so if you're hitting the beach this weekend and you're in an area or like I said, maybe you're somewhere in like a tropical resort. Um, if you see a starfish anywhere and this is what I'm saying, I'm not necessarily saying you, you could pick up a starfish off a beach. But overall, this message here, uh, look, this starfish looks like he's holding like some kind of tambourine. Like maybe it's like a rock band or something he's in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. Don't ask me. But it's, there's something significant about a starfish over this weekend. Now you might, you know, you might just see it, an actual starfish. You might also um, just kind of see uh, a picture of one or something along those lines. And I feel like if you do, this is a reading for you, Virgo. I mean, this is a reading and a half. And this is definitely a reading for you as far as like a starfish goes. Also, just want you to know the dragon showed up here, year of the dragon. So maybe that's significant for some of you. But I'm gonna leave your reading there. I enjoyed this, this was fun. And uh, hopefully you're gonna book a reading with me or Brandy um, because my reading, um, booking site is looking kind of shabby then when you go over to the calendar and you go to pick your day um, it doesn't show up only the actual day the present day is showing up the number so like today is uh, well, you're listening to this reading it's Thursday okay um, you're listening to this reading it's June 1st you know whatever day it is when you go to my booking site, it's going to show you the day that it is. And if you want to book for the next day, there's it's not the number isn't lit up. I don't know why. So I want you to just click on the day that you want, acting as if the number's showing up, and it will appear. It's still going to let you book with me. Okay, so please keep that in mind. And the same thing for Brandy. Okay, unless it's a day that neither one of us is available but you know it shows at the very bottom and i just have to say that and i am going to fix that over this weekend somehow hopefully um otherwise join me on sunday for your live stream um for those of you who are members you can subscribe to my channel become a member for 33 cents a day pop in the chat on sunday for the live streams 1 p.m eastern and you can just ask me a question i'll pull a card for you it's about an hour we're in there and it's a lot of fun um yeah so that's it so i will see you all back here thursday for your weekend reading and see what shows up yeah and have a great awesome evening day afternoon and do remember virgo be happy make good choices and that's that love you bye